in the last couple of years, I've had the opportunity to work with some pretty big brands, but no matter how big the brands are, one thing they can seem to get right is when it comes to the editing and they sent me their logo to put it in the edit, it's almost never a PNG with a transparent background. It's almost always a JPEG with some kind of white or black background. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three different ways on how to remove a background for a logo in Photoshop. So let's dive right in. So this is the logo from my video production company. I just put it on a white background for the sake of this tutorial. Now this is burned in, as you can see, it's not just my logo on a white background on two separate layers. No, I exported it, so it's burned in on a white background, pretty disgusting. So the first way you could remove a background is if you click on the logo and go down here to the effects and go to blending modes. Now besides the different blending modes that you can't use for making a logo transparent because it just blends something with the layer below it and that one can't be transparent, you have these blending sliders down here. Now if you want to key out a bright or a white background, you have to go from the right side of the slider. If the logo would be white and the background would be dark or black, you would have to go from the left side of the slider. Since we have a white background, I'm going to use the right side, click on it and then drag it a little bit to the left and you can see the white background is keyed out. But we have a problem. This method only works the best if you have a black and white logo with no color of the background inside the logo. As you can see in our case, we didn't only delete the white background, but also the white letters in my logo. So let's reverse that. We're not using this method. We need something else to just remove the background and not something that is in the logo. So a pretty easy method with the new Photoshop update is if you have the layer selected to just go down here to you can already see it, remove background, click on it, and now you have removed your background and the logo keeps everything that is inside of the logo. Now in this case, it worked pretty good. We have a simple logo. We had a good black and white contrast for Photoshop to make the selection and the shape of the logo is also pretty simple with the circle. But sometimes if you have a very detailed or old styled logo, it's not that simple and Photoshop doesn't make the right selection and you can't just use the remove background option. In this case, I'm gonna show you the third way of removing a background in Photoshop. So let's hit Command Z to reverse the removing of the background. Keep the layer selected and go down here to the quick selection tool. Now here you again have different options. You could just click on select subject, which will select your logo. In this case, again, it worked pretty good, but sometimes it doesn't. So I'm gonna go to deselect and we're going to manually select the logo with the quick selection tool. Just touch everything that you wanna select. And now you can see we have made a selection. And again, if you have a more detailed logo, you could go up here to select and mask and then make some fine adjustments with the smoothness, the feathering, the contrast, and even shift the edge a little bit inwards to really get rid of that white or black background. I'm gonna go back here since it works just fine for us. And whether you click cancel or okay, you can see we still have the white background. That's why we have to go down here and click on layer mask. And now you can see we have removed the background and now have a transparent logo that we can export as a PNG and use in our edit. That's already it from this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing right here for more videos just like this one. You can find more Photoshop tutorials in the playlist right here and you can find more Final Cut tutorials right here. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.